Man, Bronny definitely better than some of these cats I've been watching on League Pass today. Shit lightweight hilarious with four laughing emojis. Shit lightweight hilarious. Like, not only does he believe his son's going to make it, believes his son is better than some of the dudes that already made it. Unreal. So I'm looking at it like, dog, of course, this is a father's dream. But when you look at it in slow-mo, how's it going to happen? Well, this is how it's going to happen. LeBron James is working with his son, not just in basketball X's and O's, but in the I's and the U's, the emotional state necessary, the work ethic necessary, like those dinner table conversations with LeBron James hit different than they do with a typical father, or even with a father that's a coach. No, the guy who made you, the guy who's talking to you, your father is at worst the number two basketball player of all time, if not the GOAT. Of course, Bronny James is going to pick up all the intangibles that come with it. But let's be real, too. Most great, great players don't have necessarily great sons, even though some have made it, right? Everyone always points to a Barry Sanders and his son, even though he was a good running back. I remember him going to Stanford. Not Barry Sanders. Michael Jordan, we know how great he is, and his son. Not Michael Jordan, right? So LeBron James, whoa. But is Bronny going to be anywhere near that? I say, who cares? As long as the dude makes it and becomes his own version of himself, not just a shadow of his dad, his own version of himself. And then a look across court. I think it would be even cooler if they didn't play together that they had to play against each other, right? You imagine a game where LeBron has to guard Bronny? You imagine Bronny actually sneaking and catching his dad and popping a banger on his daddy? You imagine all these scenarios? How sick would it be? And I don't have these type of dreams yet. My son is way too early in that journey, even though he looks amazing at his age. Come on. I'm out there with too many fathers and too many mothers who already are placing prop bets on their kids at the age of seven think they're going to make it pro. And every time I see an amazing kid, I always try to balance them out with that reality because I know the pressure that is already mounting on that kid because he's amazing. I was like, it's a marathon. You know, I sound like Nipsey Hussle half the time. It's a marathon. It's going to be a long, tedious process and journey, no matter how talented you are. I tell you guys all the time, the most talented athlete I've ever seen with my eyeballs was Stace Bozeman. Even though he played pro for a minute in the NBA, he played overseas, he didn't hit like they thought he was going to hit. So even in your projections, you got to be careful how much you think a player is going to make it and how far you think that player is going to go because you never know what's in front of them. So it looks amazing just on paper. LeBron James saying this about his son. But he's also putting expectations on his son. He's putting up bulletin board material for his son that his son is going to have to live through, right? Writing checks that his son's ass is going to have to cash, right? Or else all of this is coming back at you, bro. Like people are like, oh, thought he was going to be all that. Now we know he's probably going to get in, so we can't even start there. But once he gets in, all eyes on Bronny. And daddy can't protect you then. You're going against other grown men, other grown professionals. You can't go out there and be like, oh, daddy, I'm in high school and people don't know how good I am yet. Or I may go to college or the G League, whatever it may be. They don't know how good I am yet. Once you up there with the big boys, all bets are off. It's time to leave that dinner table. It's time to be your own man. I'm looking forward to seeing that for Bronny James. And of course, salute for the king for having a son that can accomplish that.